name is Lydia Corey and I'm an illustrator. I illustrated the pictures for this book, which is called Eight Princesses in a Magic Mirror, written by Natasha Farrant. I did the pictures for this series, which is called The Tindins, written by Sally Gardner. I illustrated and wrote this book, which is called Marvelous Magicians. And I illustrated this book, which is called The Pirate Mums, written by Jodie Lancet Grant. This book is a swashbuckling adventure about Billy and his two pirate mums, and I really hope you enjoy it. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a pirate ship. And every pirate ship also needs a parrot. This is Birdbrain, Billy's pet parrot. Billy doesn't have nice normal pets like dogs and cats. His pirate mums have Birdbrain, so we'll learn how to draw him too. To do our drawings, we're going to need some coloured pencils, whatever you have. We're going to have some, we need some scissors and a piece of card that you can cut up and just a piece of white paper to draw on. So first, with our card, we're going to fold the card in half and we're going to push down on that fold like that. Okay, and then we're going to get a pencil and we're going to draw some sail shapes. So we're going to do a little line at the top and then we're going to do a line like this and then a curved line there. So that's going to be our little sail and then we're going to do a slightly bigger one. So it's the same shape slightly bigger. Now we've got them like that, we're going to cut them out. So you might need to ask a grown-up to help you for this. So we cut here, there, that's the first one. And you don't need to worry too much about following the lines, they're just a guide to help you make the, the shapes. Okay, so that's the first one and the second one. So when we open them up, we've got our two sail shapes. So I've picked out some pencils here to make our rainbow colours and I've put them in order from the darker red through the orange, yellow, green and into the blue. So I'm going to put those over on that side. And then I'm going to take my template and I'm going to pop it on the page. I'm going to start with a blue. We just use a template to guide us to make this shape. So it's just a quick way of making our rainbow. One hand you hold the template, and the other hand you can use your colours. So we're mixing the colours together over the, over each other, which is called blending. So I'm using a blue, and now I'm going to use a green, going over each one. And I've got my yellow, so that goes in like that, then my orange, and now the darker one, and right up to the edge there. Okay, keep, if you keep keep the template in place, it means when you can go, once you've got all the colours in, you can have a look and see if you think anything needs to be a bit darker. So I think we might make the blue here a bit darker there. And then you can lift that off and using your pencils again, you can neaten up the edges if you want. You don't have to. I'm just gonna do it like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Drawings are always more exciting when they're a little bit messy or there are accidents because it keeps it all more interesting to look at. So we've done our first sail. Okay, now we're going to do our second sail. So our second sail is going to go slightly behind this one. It's going to go here. Okay, and it's easier if we put our pencils back in order. So we start with the yellow the other way around. We start with the red, orange, yellow, 
going into green, then the lighter blue, and then the darker blue. So this time I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to go from that edge there so we don't go over the blue. Overlap again, blend those colours together. Like that. Making a beautiful rainbow. And then we go into that corner like that. There we go. So we can do the same as we did before to neaten those up. Not too much, just a little bit. And now, with a brown pencil, we're going to make the poles that hold the flags in place. So for this one, this sail, we're going to go straight down in a straight line over the top. And this sail is behind this one, so we leave a gap there and then follow it down. And we can do a line across the top. And then we're going to do another line across this top. Then we're going to do this pole. But instead of being in front, this one is going to be behind this flag. So we don't draw it and then we just draw a little one down here. And now we're going to draw our boat. So our boat needs a straight line like this and then a little line going down and then a long line that goes all the way slightly further in front than that sail. Then we do a curve on that side and a little line like this and then another curve and that's our boat shape. We can join our poles up to the boat. And also, it's been very important that our boat is on the sea. So we get a blue pencil and we make some half circle lines. So as if you're drawing a circle, then you stop and you do another one. And that makes it look like waves the boat can sit on. And once you've got that shape you can follow it underneath and do another line. So maybe I'll do one more like that. Okay now the next thing our boat needs is some railings up here. So straight lines and these railings are going to make sure that in stormy weather the pirates don't fall off and maybe they also need some rope along the side so that's again curvy lines as if you're doing a circle up to the top and then you follow that shape again once you've made it and then you can fill in these gaps Okay, and now if we if we use our card again and find a straight edge, oh, first, very importantly, we've got to give this boat a porthole, and a porthole is the boat's window. So actually, I think this is the toilet window, where a certain captain in this story actually gets stuck, which isn't very nice in the Pongy toilet. Right, so we're going to use our card again, straight edge. We can put it against, against the boat like that. And we can use it just to draw up against, because what we're trying to do is make it look as if this boat is made out of wooden planks. So we move it a bit further down. We can go in a different direction. And you can press, if you press your pencil really hard on the page, you'll get a dark line. But if you press it, lighter on the page you'll get a much lighter colour so that can help make things look different. So we use that, so I'm pressing quite hard there and then I'm going to press a little bit lighter and go in a different direction all along. So it's just a quick way of making this boat look the 
as though it's made of long wooden planks. Okay, now we can see the tips of our C, so we don't want to we don't want to colour in over the top. So we just try and carefully avoid that. But it doesn't really matter if you make a mistake. Okay, and now we can get rid of the cardboard and fill in the gaps. Go over anything that you need filling in. Right, so I think up at the top here we need some smaller sails and they're made with little triangles. And we also have some rigging here so that a pirate could climb up and have a look at what's going on. So that comes from the top here, one line down. And it's going to it's going to look as though it's behind this sail so we find the line and connect it down to the boat. I'm going to do another one there. and then at a slight angle going that way we're going to do almost like a ladder all the way up and down and up here as well and then we're going to do some little lines coming down. And this is our pirate ship. We might use our blue again and put some shading in here to make it look as if this boat is really sitting on the water and we can even put a bit of shading with the black just going lightly over the top of there so it really makes that sail look as though it's behind that one okay that is our pirate ship it's looking pretty good but what we need to do now is every pirate ship needs a parrot very important if you're a pirate to have a parrot and our parrot in the story is a parrot called Birdbrain. Now Birdbrain's going to be flying, let's draw him so he's flying around the boat having a look. So he's going to use a red pencil and I'm going to start with his head. So I do a little line down then a little line across like this and then I'm going to join it up like that. That's the kind of shape like that and then we're going to make his eye shape which is right in this corner so we just do the same shape but a little bit smaller and up in that corner go down a bit and then we just color that in so what's e the easiest way to draw Berberine is to do him in all his shapes so that you do one shape and then you find out where the next bit goes so next we're going to do his beak and his beak is made a little triangle that sits up at the top there and once you've done his beak you know where his little eye needs to go he's just there and then bird brain has feathers that come out of his neck blue feathers so we do these little feather shapes like this and once we've done the feathers we can see where his wing comes out from it comes out from here so it's a, a line up about this far and then it curves around the top there and then we do his feather shapes so they get a little bit smaller all the way down and joins up there and then we can colour those in. Now I like to colour in quite roughly so it's got quite a lot of texture and makes it more interesting to look at. Also it doesn't matter if you make mistakes and after we've done his red wing he's got some green feathers that come out and they get smaller and smaller and then we use our blue pencil and he's got a really long one at the top long feather and then again it's smaller smaller and smaller so that's his wing and now we're going to draw his little tummy so his tummy comes from out from under this feather and it's a nice quite a small little body, a round little tummy. So do that line and then connect it down here. And once you've done that shape, you can just color that in. There we go. And he has a little feathery tail as well. So we do more feather shapes and they come out in a kind of fan. So we do one, two, three, four. 
going to take our green pencil again and make those feathers even longer with green at the end like that and once you've got there you can make them a bit bigger like that there we go and oh almost forgot but very important bird brain has a cool hairdo which is some spiky feathers on the top of his little head like that I'm going to take our black pencil and we're going to give him his legs and his legs come out here in a triangle so we do the top of a triangle and then he's got three little claws and now with our black pencil as well we can add a bit of shading so we're going to just sh lightly go over his little tummy there and the back feather and maybe the top of his wing up here just a little bit around his eye and now once he's all in you can go back in and decide what might need to be colored in what might need to be where you need to press down to really make it look darker and so that is bird brain and the pirate ship and we might give him a little mark there so it looks like he's flying and maybe if you have time you could draw pirates on your pirate ship even a cannon going off on the other end that would look good so just play around with it and add anything else you like well there we have it bird brain and the pirate ship